Hi, I'm Cindy Scott. Team teaching in grades two through five is my innovative plan for change. I teach at Grove Christian School, which is a private K-3 through 12 school in Richmond, Virginia. Right now, the enrollment at Grove is 249 students. However, we are projected to have 350 students for the 2021-2022 school year. The pandemic and resulting online learning caused many parents whose children were in public schools to question the quality of their education. For the 2020 through 2021 school year, Grove Christian School introduced a hybrid model of learning that proved successful, satisfying the concerns of parents. This model gave parents and students alike the option of in-class or remote learning. The student population at Grove is wonderfully diverse, as noted by the demographic pie chart. The influx of additional students in the coming year will result in adding a second class for grades two through five. I am proposing a team teaching model to take advantage of the two teachers in every grade. However, I am not advocating a widely accepted view of team teaching. The definition of team teaching per my proposal would be two general education teachers sharing responsibility between their two classes. The grade level teachers would divide up subjects according to their areas of expertise as noted on this slide. Teachers on each grade level can decide to divide up all of the subjects. As subject matter experts, they would teach the subjects that are their own areas of expertise. My proposal is that this is only a voluntary change and not a requirement. Teachers who prefer not to team teach could decide instead to only split up the planning duties with each teacher planning half of the subjects. Since each grade level will now have two classes, teachers can share the responsibility for instructional design. This should save the teachers time and effort. Plus, teachers can teach in their expertise to the entire grade level. Research shows that the benefits of team teaching for students is that it deepens students' analytical abilities, builds greater curricular coherence, as well as creating a greater sense of academic community. For teachers, research shows some of the benefits include creating effective, fun learning, dividing up their workload, and increasing interest level. There really is no dissatisfaction with the status quo. My proposal takes advantage of the benefit of having two classes in each elementary grade. This change would provide teachers with more time to become instructional designers. Teachers would not need to be experts in all of the eight subjects. They would only need to concentrate on their half of the subjects. No additional resources would be needed for this change. Planning time should be shorter for the teachers as they will not be planning for eight subjects. Each teacher would be planning for the two classrooms at the same time. Incentives for the teachers are that the teacher's prep time should be much shorter and that the teacher would be able to teach in the area of their preferred subjects. As stated earlier, 
this change is voluntary. However, the two teachers in each grade would need to agree on the team teaching decision, and they would also need to come to an agreement as to which teacher will teach which subject. The benefits for each teacher should be the enticement to make this change. Participating teachers would need to be committed to timely class transitions as there are no bells on the elementary level. Participating teachers would also need to be committed to the students in the entire grade level, not just the students in their home room. Also, the participating teachers would need to be committed to the timely grading of assignments for both classes. Participating teachers will need to demonstrate humble leadership in both classes. Positive leadership will involve good communication with their team member. And of course, participating teachers must take leadership of their subject areas. Communication for this change would be during the in-service days before school begins, plus an email to the faculty. Parents would be informed of the change through our Parent Square posts and an announcement during our opening ceremonies. We could also put an article in the Falcon Times weekly newsletter. A few of the challenges to the implementation of this change would be teachers' resistance to change and resistance to relinquish control of their classroom. Initially, some teachers may be unsure of how successful this will be. It is anticipated that after team teaching is implemented, teacher satisfaction will increase, as well as student engagement. Teacher pr productivity would increase as they have more time for their subject areas. Ultimately, success will be realized through the enhanced learning experiences for students. Success for teachers will be reflected in higher job satisfaction because students are benefiting most from the collaboration. In addition, if teachers are able to leave school on time and take less work home with them, we will know that success has been achieved. If you have any questions, you can find me at scottcm at hbu.edu. Thanks for your time.